Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to select cell, cell ranges, named ranges, column or a row with the help of drop down list with VVA. So I hope this will be an interesting tutorial for you and you can use this very very you need. So we will see a very short demo of this file then we will learn how to do this. So here you can see we have written here select an item. So in the drop down list we have select single cell, select cell range, select name range, select column, select row. I have created this item because this will be easy to understand. So first let's select single cell. So you can see G4 is selected. And now if I select here cell range, here from E5 to G10 it is selected. Then if I select here name range, you can see this one is selected and the name of this range is MS. Then select a column, you can see column B is selected and here select a row. Here you can see row 10 is selected. So with the help of this drop down list, we can do a selection. So let's see how to do this. So before starting this tutorial, I request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you can get regular notification and updates when I upload new Excel automation videos and different tips and tricks that makes your life easier and save lots and lots of time. So please subscribe the channel and press the bell button and hit the like button. So let's begin this tutorial so first we will take a new worksheet and here we will create a drop down list so to create the drop down list go to data data validation and select here list and in the source you can type whatever you want so let's do the same so select cell comma select cell range select name range comma select column comma select row Okay, so we got the drop down list here. Now, right click on the sheet and select this view code. Now, here we will create the code. So, first select worksheet and then change. So, here we have to put the code. Delete this one. Now, type here select case. So from where we will select our range is D6. Type here range D6. Enter. Now we will type the name of the case. That is here the case are this one select cell, select cell range in this way. So type here case within quotation select cell quotation close enter and type here the cell that one you want to select so for this i will select d3 so type here range d3 dot select enter and here we will end the select so end select okay so we have created the first case so let's check it save it first and then go to select and in d6 select cell you can see d3 is selected now we will do it with select cell range 
so we will select the range from F5 to H10 F5 to H10 so type here case select cell range within double quotation then type here range F5 to H10 quotation close and bracket close ok now save it and here is some mistake here we have the quotation ok now select here select cell range so here is a problem let's see here is oh here dot select okay now again go here select cell range you can see from a5 to h10 now we will create a name range so let's create this name range go to formula define name type here scec -E then okay so here our case is select named range so you have to type case select name range so this should be within quotation okay now here range within quotation scec -E quotation close bracket close dot select so save it and let's go here and select name range you can see these cells are selected and here the name is shown scec -E now the next is select column so type here case select column double quotation close enter range we will select column h so within quotation h colon h then double quotation bracket close dot select okay save it and here select select range you can see column h is selected now we will select row 10 so for this here select row okay now case within quotation select row double quotation close enter a range within bracket type here 10 colon 10 quotation close bracket close dot select save it and here select row you can see row 10 is selected so we have completed this code now with the help of this code we can select all this that means from the drop down list if you want to do anything you have to type the case and here your action then again the case and here the action so here we have done the action for selection the ranges so you can see select cell cell range name range column and row so this is the code very simple one so i hope you have understood this tutorial so if you have any queries or any problem you can write me in the comment section i will surely help you out and if you have any new suggestion for tutorial you can also write me in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell button so thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial